Thank you, Councilman. Um, Would you just pick up the, uh, pick up the other one so you can be? Uh, it's on. My name is George Brickhouse, and I consider it a blessing this evening to have all of you that are here at the table representing the diversity of elements that make up Rockton school, political, the mayor being here, and uh, Susan uh, DeCastro. My question is a two part question, and it covers the schools, but it covers the city itself. And also, Police Chief Gomes. First part of the question, and what I'd like to get from each of you is just a yes or a no on it. Uh, do you believe in community policing? That's the first part. The second part is, do you believe that community policing could be helped by junior and senior high school students participating with the police in summer programs to see if, number one, if they might have a desire to focus on law enforcement as a career. And number two, to be in the community, I believe what it does, it enables peers to see them doing something in the summertime that they're getting paid for. And also, in the community, it means that you, as a parent, watching over your youngsters, you're not going to let anything go down in a negative manner and not make sure that that youngster is taken care of. And I bring this knowing that it is being done in Boston, and it is being done in Cambridge. And in Cambridge, they've taken a summer program and are expanding it to the entire year. And I equate it with something along the lines of ROTC, that we could have something like that in Brockton. And what it does, community policing means community involvement. And this gentleman's question, I had a student of mine at Brockton High, and as an educational advocate, I went into a meeting with he and his counselor for the fact that he was flunking a class. And I, said, why is he flunking? The teacher said, well, the first thing I have to do is to tell him to take out his earbuds. And as his also basketball coach, I spoke to him in a different way. The teacher and the counselor were kind of a bit surprised. But he said, this is how coach I relate. And the thing is that it's respect that's needed on both sides. And what we are doing right now, and especially Superintendent Thomas, has got the role of maybe Moses for our schools. <laughs> and, and you're gonna have to set you're gonna have to set the the the, 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 the ten tablets and bring them down. <laughs> you're gonna have to bring the tablets. And we're going to have to follow because Brockton is a community that can be more, and should be more. And Police Chief Gomes, as I said, it's a two-part question. All I need is a yes or a no from each of you. And Police Chief Gomes, like I said, I don't want to take up a lot of time. I just need a yes or a no just to see how you feel. And as I said, it is, I consider it a blessing to have all of you here that represent so much of the political and educational aspect that Washington has. I appreciate your time. If you expect a yes or no answer from politicians, <laughs> <laughs> God bless you, man. God bless you. I'll start with the ladies. Is he Biden on the budget carpet? Mr. Brickhouse. Is it Brickhouse? Yes, it is. George Brickhouse. Pleasure to meet you face to face. We spoke on the phone uh, earlier this week. Had a great conversation about some things in the community. Um, great question. When Chief Gomes was appointed, um, the first thing we did, Council uh, Woman Mendez and myself and uh, Jeff Thompson, who 
Uh, the three new folks on the block uh, reached out to Chief Gomes to address that very question around community policing. I think it's important. I think um, Chief Gomes earlier spoke to how he wants police officers to be more visible. Um, he's definitely on board. I mean, I'm not speaking for him, but we had a great conversation around that. And that's why I think that I'm encouraged by what we're doing here with um, Mayor Sullivan and the school department and all of the leaders in the community, the chief of police, we're all committed to working together to address some of these issues. So I'm pretty sure that everybody here is definitely a yes to we would like to see more community policing um, and you know address some of those issues that you just spoke about. And maybe that model is something that we can entertain you know, in the summertime to have students, you know, um, be in a program like that, you know, that want to pursue a law enforcement career. My brother's a Boston police officer and he's on a bike unit there and Chief Gomes and I talked about that and how that's something that is really important because they're visible on the bikes and the warm weather in the community. So that's, some, um, that's something definitely that we should consider. Yes, so that is a, a great question because we were really talking about that because that is something that we're very committed and we believe that in order to change a city, we have to change um, how the culture views a police officer because it's culturally. Like in some countries, you view a police officer as um, someone that you cannot say no to, that you have to follow the orders and a lot of communities, they are afraid of police officers, but not because of anything that our police officers are doing wrong or that they did that they didn't like. It's because what they bring with them and their background and how they view it. So by doing the community policing, it's something that would change that mentality, would educate them that here in Brockton, it's different that the police are here to really protect us and to really help us and work with us. And the more connected the police officers, the police department is with the community, the more we'll know about all of the uh, criminal activities going on because that way they'll be able to get back to the police officers and let them know what they saw, what they heard, what they know. If they don't trust the police officers, then that's a big issue. And that's really mainly what I see. We have a very diverse population in Brockton and culturally we don't really trust police officers in a lot of countries. So here in Brockton, we want to change that. And by changing, I think the answer is definitely community policing. So thank you so much for the question. We are working on it. We're on board. And uh, we want to see some changes. And I agree with you. Thank you. Thank you. I think we're all along the same lines. Anything that can engage students, I think is going to be good for them, whether it's community policing, whether it's sports, music, the arts, Anything that engages them with, with, uh, with their peers and with the community is going to benefit them, no matter what the, the subject or the area is. George, you probably know I spent over 25 years on the Brockton Police Department. Nothing is more important than a strong police community relations program. You could have 500 or 1,000 officers, and if those men and women don't earn the trust and respect of the residents, the residents aren't going to respond in kind when you need them to help solve a crime. Specifically with respect to summer, uh, it always amazes me that most of the activities for kids are school-based, but yet schools, as you know, get out in June. So we kick kids loose for July and August and maybe the first week in September. And I, I notice one of the points here is an expanded school year. Clearly, there should be expanded school activities. And it was a superintendent we had in Brockton. His name was Manthala George, Matt George. And he looked at me one day and he said, you know when? He said, the best six and a half to seven hours a day in a kid's life is often in the Brockton school. You don't know what they go home to. You don't know their living condition. You have no idea what their life is like. But the schools are where, they're, where they thrive. So uh, in particular, I think we need to do more for our youth all year round, but especially during the summer months, when there's really nothing left for them to do school-based. Uh, absolutely right. So with some of this new money, we will be expanding some of our summer programs. But um, when it comes to, obviously, community policing, uh, we have school police. We're one of the few 
um, districts in the state that actually have school police, a school police that are paid by the school department, but they are actually are overseen by a lieutenant from the Brockton Police Department and the chief. So they run the GREAT program, which is now just came back three years ago, which has been really a really good program. They do that in the summer as well. Uh, the last five offices we, we hired three years ago, they were all Brockton High graduates. They're all in their mid-20s, so they relate very well to, they all live in Brockton, they all brought, graduated from Brockton High, they really relate well to our, to our students because they're not much, that old, not much older than them and they've done a great job uh, going into classrooms, working with students, working with teachers, so uh, that's going to continue to build and I know that uh, Chief Gomes is going to work with us at the North New North Community Center, uh, having the auditorium available will provide all kinds of opportunities for the police to do different presentations and work with the community, and that's a big part of what we hope the community center to be become. So, um, yeah, Mr. Brickhouse, you're exactly right. I mean, it definitely has to go hand in hand, and, and it's the school department's job as well with, to work together with the police to make sure um, to be part of the community police and, and also getting kids involved. And I actually like the idea of the internships for the juniors and seniors because I think that would go a long way with. Um, you know, helping students get interested in law enforcement and maybe that's a career path they want to take. So that's actually an excellent idea. Uh, thank you. Um, and George, I, I too believe in community policing. Um, but one of the things that, I, um, that I've often said is, the, um, is crime is a multifaceted uh, situation that we face in the community. It's not just throwing, and, and Council Thalwell said this, it's not just throwing police at crime, because if we all know that the, the guns that are used in, in criminal activities are not in the streets, they're in the homes. And that being said, we have not done a very good job in working with the community to get the guns out of the homes, out of the hands of some of the young people in our community. So I think it has to be a multifaceted approach. We have to... Uh, get back to basics in a sense. Um, some of these kids are running miles around their parents because of the whole adjustment thing with the cultural swings that exist. Uh, but we have, we cannot forget the fact that we need to have people in places that sound and look like the people that we're dealing with in the community. We need to get people into homes, and I don't mean to break into people's homes, but I'm just saying we need to get people who can, are trusted in the community to basically reach into some of these homes and get those people to help the police out. You can have a thousand cops in the streets. Our streets will be safe in the sense because the cops up and down, but it doesn't mean the community is safe because those guns are not in the streets. They're in the homes. And we haven't really worked with the parents to edu educate these parents to, hey, listen, you need, it's your home, it's your domain. You need to be able to search the homes and make sure that those uh, items that are used in criminal activities are not in the homes. So it's a, it, it's not a, it's not just well, let's just do community, agree to do community policing, but it's the how that sometimes matters. How are we going to do this? How are we going to go about doing what we need to do to make sure that um, we're reaching those that need reaching? Because just to do it for the sake of it being on paper and existing on paper, it doesn't do much for uh, for the community itself. So we have to do it a little different. Uh, things that might work in Boston might not work in Brockton. We need to get people around the table that know Brockton, that understand what goes on in the city, to perhaps come up with a solution. The solutions sometimes are within reach, but sometimes we don't take the time to uh, ask those that are affected by this, how would they go about uh, reaching out and, and solving some of the issues that we have. So it's a variety of things that we got to do, but yes, community policing is a good idea so as long as we do it the right way, not just to do it so that it's in the books that we're doing community police. Moses, to continue along with your thought, if you don't mind, because I said I don't want to take up a lot of time. Um, all this conversation about community policing, first and foremost, I want you to know that we're more committed to it than ever. Um, these councils, I, I can only echo what they said because it's absolutely true. The police department can't do it alone. 
I'm the first one to tell you that some of the things that we're dealing with, we can't arrest our way out of it. Okay? It, it, that's just not the way it's going to work. To eradicate some of the problems, it's going to take us working with other groups and, and bringing these things to fruition. Um, some of the things that I heard here, uh, we, we do have programs for the kids. I'd like to see more um, because I truly believe that a, a kid that's busy is a kid that stays out of trouble. All right? I, I, on the job, all the years that I've been here, I've seen a lot of kids at the book and desk. They weren't bad kids. They just had a lot of free time, and next thing you know, they're in a bad place. And I think everybody here knows what I'm saying. Um, so I'd like to see more of that. I really would, especially in the summer months, um, because the days are longer, the kids are out later, the weather is good, all these things. Uh, I'd like to see that. We do offer a lot of programs. We're already committed. We do a lot of things that you might not know about. We already have officers to go out with uh, probation officers and, and uh, school officials, and, and we, we, we check on kids on their curfews. Uh, we check on people in this city if they're on parole or if they're a young kid. We do, we do house checks on a regular basis with a lot of organizations. I mean, we're actually going to houses, making sure that the kid is in for the night making sure that he's doing what he's told to do. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that we're partnering um, with other agencies on this. Um, but like I said earlier, can we do better? I, I, I want to hope so, and I, I want to strive for that. All right?